Hello and welcome back to video number two. This is what we call the productivity mind map. And what I'm going to do is walk you through step by step. So before we actually jump right in and show you different, you know, productivity tools and, and all that good stuff, we're going to focus on first and foremost, what we call idea dumping. So what I want you to do is whether that is to pull out a piece of paper and pen or pencil, or if you want to utilize your iPhone or smartphone, that's fine too. But what you want to do is you want to list down all of the tasks or to do's. So your list most likely may seem like a lot and can be overwhelming. And that's why the next steps are important. So what I'd recommend that you do is just pause this video, jot down all of your tasks and your to do's. Now you might be thinking, well, should this be my personal stuff? If I'm focused on productivity of my business or my career? Yes, you definitely want to list down all of your tasks, your personal, your career and your business and even your fun time. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to get an overarching view of all of your tasks. So that way we can begin to prioritize, which I'll show you in just a minute. And then once you have that list of tasks and hopefully you've paused this video and you've done that, you want to itemize those tasks and we want to itemize your list based on categories. So we're not trying to just prioritize the whole list. We are trying to look at the list of things that we have to do when the day to day things included. And then what we want to do is categorize them. So make sure that you create categories, you know, categories, for example, personal, fun time, work, you know, play time, entertainment, key tasks that you have to do on a repetitive basis and even key tasks or even key projects that are might be unique so they can be consistent and they can also be unique. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to categorize them. So, you know, okay, I have, I'm spending this amount of the day on personal stuff. And a lot of times we don't realize that until we really write it down. You know, we don't realize that all of our time is being spent maybe on the phone or maybe being interrupted or maybe being distracted. And then once we realize that we say, okay, aha, okay. Now I can put stuff in place to prevent that from actually happening. So once you've created those general categories, what you want to do is you want to create subcategories. And the reason why is that if you think about the saying, you know, when you actually complete a task, you know, generally speaking, the task can be split up into baby steps. And by doing that, the actual task gets completed, right? So in a similar case, in this case, we are splitting up the categories and breaking them down so that we can see, okay, in our personal life, how much time are we spending towards these different tasks? But at the same time, which are these tasks belonging to, especially subcategory wise. So these are many tasks that you need to accomplish to get the bigger task complete. And this is what is going to really help you really break things down. And then it's going to be applicable. You know, your brain, when your brain looks at a task, like say, for example, a project, it becomes very overwhelming and, and very frustrating because the task looks so big. But when you break things down into subcategories and then categories, and then, then you are able to kind of see a roadmap of what's happening in your life. And that's, that's when we can begin to, to define the priorities, which we'll talk about in video number three.